Oliver Cronin. There is work to be done. Chill to the bone. <laughs> Thank you, dear. A and I'm going to die of thirst. After work, come straight home. I don't want you playing in the woods. I know you're going to anyway. Just remember I told you not to. And don't forget your coat. You better not let Mr. Booth see you. There will be trouble. I know. I know. Do you give this letter to Lily? Please. Do you want me to lose my job? No, no, of course not. Then don't ask. Sir. Mr. Booth. You're late. I am right on time. or you won't. I can't. What do you mean you can't? The cow's gone. What? Come on. That makes 13. We are just one short. I loaned one out to the Johnsons. Elias Grant, we don't even have enough to feed our own girls, and you give away our inventory. They will pay us when they can. With what? Everyone knows the mine is dry. <sighs> what is it? The cow's gone. What? Ray went to milk her this morning, and she's gone. I'm sorry. Elias, what have you done? I sold our cow to Gabriel Hollis. That cow gave good milk. Milk doesn't pay the rent. But it fills the belly. It's my stuff. Good morning, Mr. Booth. We're just a little bit short this time, but we'll make it up next month. Heard this before. This should cover this month's rent. I, I know we're behind on what we owe for surplus, but... I'll add interest to next month. Understood. I right, back to work.
Miss Firth! I know you're in there! Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's the same as yesterday. Here he comes, just like clockwork. Selfish. <laughs> Penny pinching. Ninja. Rapacious. Stingy. Uncharitable. Mr. Booth. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Keep the change. All my tenants were like you, I'd be a very happy man. True happiness, Mr. Booth, lies in making others happy. <laughs> Penurious tightwad. Mr. Booth? Miss Firth, did you bring the rent? Could I have more time? You asked for more time last month? Yes. I was expecting a letter from my husband, and it never came. You know, I can get twice as much for that property. I know, sir. And I'll pay you. I just need more time. What happened to that lady's face? You have two days. Supper. I'm not very hungry. Please come downstairs for dinner. Oh, no. I, uh, I promised your father that I would keep you safe, and I intend to keep my word. You did. My daughter, Lily, is the most beautiful girl in the world. If anything should happen to her while in your care, I will shoot you where you stand. What can I do but promise? Gabriel Hollis would let me try. What did you just say about Gabriel Hollis? No, oh, I said Gabriel would let me try. <sighs> oh, he would. Well, would Gabriel Hollis do this? Oliver's not back yet? No. And he knows he's supposed to help carry the wash home. He probably lost track of time. 
It's like his head is completely in the clouds. There he is. Do you know what time it is? Do you know how worried I've been? Oh, and where's your coat? Gathering rocks? Why? I'm sure you wouldn't do this if mother and father were here. Hurry home, we have work to do. I'm sure she didn't mean it. She's just tired. That's all. It's gonna take a miracle to get this washing finished in time. Go on, see who it is. <whistles> who was it? Come on, it's late. What you doing? Never shot a preacher before. Tastes like sawdust. My back, ugh, it feels like it's broken. Mother, I would very much like for you to hear my sermon today. Well, how can I, dear? You know I'm standing on death's doorstep. Pass me my book, please. Thank you. Do you know who this parsimonious Ebenezer Scrooge reminds me of? Who's that, Mother? James Booth. Ugh. He's even more detestable ever since Lily had that terrible accident. How can you be civil to that man after all he's done to you? Keeping Lily locked up in that house day and night. Someone needs to show Mr. Booth the error of his ways. Actually, I think he's much worse. At least Scrooge did have a heart at the end. Thomas? I was beautiful, wasn't I? Today. No. Why not? Is it because of the preacher or is it because you don't want people to see my face? I prayed hard, Lily. On my knees, I begged. I know. And he still took her. That's why we're not going. Mm. 
And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou, son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, My, my, my. Look at Gabriel Hollis. But they, when they were departed, Look at spread Sarah. abroad his fame in all. Well, he is preaching a sermon. It's not his preaching she's interested in. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, that no man know it. If I were young again, but they, who would you choose? When they were departed, spread abroad his Why would I have to choose? <laughs> Miracles happen every day. For example, a newborn baby. Miracles are, are all around us. We just have to know where to look for them. Don't you think his sermons are getting a bit long-winded? He's pining for Lily. So we all have to suffer? Oh. If it snowed in Woodhaven, would that be a miracle? It hasn't snowed in Woodhaven since before you were born. But Pastor King said that miracles could happen today, just like we did in the Bible. That's right, Ray. So, if someone could make a miracle happen, they would be called a miracle maker. And I bet they could make it snow. Isn't that right, Pastor? Well, that's not exactly what I said, no. But that's what I heard. What do you think a miracle maker would be like, Pastor? Well, um... I suppose a, a miracle maker could be someone who does something out of the ordinary. Something remarkable to better the world. I think he'd be important. Like a rich man, but not like Mr. Booth. <laughs> and he'd be kind. And helpful. And he'd make it snow. Snow? Well, he could if he wanted to. My pa says we need a miracle in Woodhaven or we're all going to be in a whole lot of trouble. All right, you kids get going now. Come on. Come on. Is that what a miracle maker looks like? in years. What does it say? Uh, it says that a miracle maker is coming to town. When? It doesn't say. We need to tell everyone. All we have to do is tell Agnes and Bessie and within minutes the whole town will know. <laughs> You're all gonna be late for work now. 
But what about the miracle maker? There's bread to be made, work to be done. You know, if a miracle maker really does come to Woodhaven, maybe you can help us pay off what we owe Mr. Booth so we won't get thrown out on the street. Papa, is that true? We're going to be thrown out on the street? No. Now there'll be no more talk of the miracle maker. Get dressed, Adelaide. First the cow and now this. Jenny, all right. Listen, this is my firstborn son right here, okay? Just settle down. I always take care of you and the girls. I always will. Sarah? Sarah. Hello, Thomas. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Allow me. I'm well, thank you. Wonderful. And, and Lily, how's Lily? She's well. Would you... Would you tell Lily that I love her? Why not tell her yourself? Well, I... Oh, I, I have. I have. In this letter. I'm sorry. Please, Sarah. Thank you. What would I do without you? Have you heard a miracle maker's coming to town today? <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's it. I I I'd roll it. I'm off to Mapleton. I shall be back shortly. Mapleton? It's property I'm looking to purchase. You don't take care of the property you already have. That is my tenant's responsibility. How can they take care of their houses? They can barely afford to put food on the table. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough. I know that Sarah hasn't had a new dress in years and others in the town are destitute. I work hard. So should they. Why are you so heartless? Remember not to leave the house while I'm gone. How could I forget? You remind me every day. I'm trying to protect you, Lily. This town could use a miracle maker. I may swoon when I see him. He's sure to be handsome. Of course, but it doesn't matter what he looks like, as long as he's able to make miracles happen. But still, he could be handsome. Of course. Handsome and rich. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Biff. What's going on here? We're waiting for the miracle maker. He's going to make it snow. Really? When was the last time it snowed in Woodhaven? I'm not sure, but I think the miracle maker can make it happen. Somebody's coming! Have we here? Are you the miracle maker? My dear strange child, what are you talking about? We received a telegraph. That a miracle maker is coming? <laughs> a telegraph. And a miracle maker. <laughs> I'm afraid you have the wrong man. Now, who can show me where the hotel is? Well, we don't actually have a hotel, sir, but... I'm sure we could find a place for you. No hotel. Imagine that. Well, I think I'll take my chances in the next town. Good day. Don't go. I know he's still coming.
I saw Thomas this morning. Oh? Did he ask about me? No. Oh. <laughs> Dear Lily, I can't, my hands are shaking. Will you read it? I have work to do. Dear Lily, I'll be waiting at the top of Johnson's Peak tomorrow night at 8. Please meet me there. With love, Thomas. Are you going to meet him? You know I can't. You don't have to tell anybody. Sarah Cronin, are you encouraging me to disobey my father? Yes. And if you had seen the look on Thomas's face this morning? No. I can't. Chicken? Looks like a chicken. Because it is a chicken. And that's a dog. He is the miracle maker. How do you know? I, I just do. We must tell Mary. Is that really the miracle maker? I'll be tired. Good morning. I asked you a question. Are you the miracle maker? And is that your dog? And why do you have a chicken? <laughs> Excuse my little ray of sunshine. She says what's on her mind. I see that. Can you make it snow? Oh, Ray, all right. Ray, why don't you go inside and help your mother? Good girl. I'm Elias Grant. Matthew, I'm looking for somewhere to stay. Oh. Mr. Biff owns all the houses in Woodhaven. He owns everything in the world. Well, I spent what little money I had on my journey. That's a shame, because he's stingy, too. Oliver will show you around town and take you to Mr. Booth. His sister works for him. I'll go with you. No, you won't. You're going to stay here. And good to meet you. Why? Because we got work to do. Come on. I want to see. We all do. We all want to see. News! A miracle maker came to town. Oh, my goodness. He's lovely. Oh, and he has such nice eyes. Oh. Actually, we don't know if he's a miracle maker just yet. Well, well, I do. Perhaps he can work a miracle so you can get out of bed. Or find you two a husband. Oh. You mean one each? Because I'm not going to share. <laughs> Mr. Booth! Mr. Booth! Mr. Booth! What's happened? Mr. Booth. Give her to me. Give her to me. Boy, he tipped over. I'm sorry. He promised you'd take care of her. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. You were never to see my Lily again. Ever! Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Matthew. Thomas Keating. The pastor. That's right. And how is your flock? 
in need of miracles. And the shepherd? Oliver, can I trust you to take care of my dog and chicken? Booth at home? Wait here, please. Mr. Booth? Yes? I'm looking for a place to stay. Elias Grant told me you're the man to see. Oh, I don't rent to strangers. What is my brother doing? Looking after my dog and chicken. Of course he is. I don't have any houses to rent. Well, there's that old shack across the street from where I live. No one wanted to live there. I was about to tear the place down. That'll be fine. I have no money, but I'm not afraid of hard work, if you need work around this place. Key's in my desk drawer, Sarah. Go get it. It'll keep you dry. That's about all I can say for it. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sarah. My brother has work to do. At this hour? What about school? There's too much work to be done. Besides, Woodhaven can't afford a teacher. Huh. Got some work to do. Get this over there. for bed. Sarah. Thank you for keeping Oliver out of trouble all day. Ooh, that smells wonderful. It's not much, but you're welcome. I said time for bed. There'll be more work tomorrow. For your dog. Thank you. Is Oliver, uh, he doesn't speak. Not anymore. He hasn't spoken since mother and father passed away. I took him to a doctor, but it didn't help. I'm sorry about your folks, Sarah. Raising your brother alone can't be easy. I manage. You manage very well. Thank you. Good night. Good night.
come to see me off. Yes. And to ask a favor. I'd like to go out tonight. Out of the question. Thomas wrote me a letter. He, he wants to see me. After what he did to you? I'm not a child anymore. I can make my own decisions. As long as you live under my roof, you will obey my rules. It's for your own good. Why can't you understand that? Where's the miracle maker? You ready? My boss is the final catch in the fish. It's time I can't come home. Oh, he means it all right. The dog better not scare the fish. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to exchange this rock for a loaf of bread. Yes. Hello. Matthew, I see you met my wife, Jenny. And our son, Elias Grant, Jr. <laughs> Not much of a talker. He'll get there. Uh, Matthew wants to exchange this rock for a, a loaf of bread. That seems like a fair trade. Two eggs for a measure of corn for my chicken, and a handful of seeds. Done and done. Uh, the bread will be ready this afternoon. I'll have Ray bring it for you. Thank you, Jenny. It's very kind. Can you find a place to stay? The shack at the edge of town. Oh. I've got a hammer and some nails out back if you want to borrow them. Just bring the hammer back when you're done. Thank you. A rock? Well, and some eggs. This is a reminder of your folly. Isn't that my job? I know. But I can help. You know your father asked you not to come out of the house. Yes, but he is in Mapleton. Besides, I can't stay inside one more minute. Why is he doing this? Perhaps he thinks it's for your own good. If I hear one more time that keeping me locked indoors is for my own good, I'll scream. He's just trying to protect you. People can be thoughtless and cruel at times. And Thomas? Not Thomas. He loves you. So does my father. Here. Who was that man yesterday? The town thinks he's some sort of miracle maker. He came looking for a place to stay. He doesn't have any money, but your father said he could stay in the shack. He did? I'm never gonna be able to go home. I told you that dog was gonna scare the fish away. Even though there were no fish to scare. You got one? Okay, don't let it go. Come on, come on. They will grow, eventually. Are you ever going to make it snow? Is that for me? This is pretty. So, you like being the youngest? It's OK. 
But when the baby comes, I won't be the baby's sister anymore. So do your brothers work at the mine? What brothers? Well, the sign says Grant and Sons. <laughs> I know that. Mama hopes this baby will be a boy. That'll make Papa happy. And if Papa's happy, Mama's happy. I fold. So do I. Ah, so I win. <laughs> you always cheat. I do not. You cheated on me with Samuel Fletcher. Humbug. And a wink from Samuel Fletcher hardly constitutes cheating. Besides, that was 40 years ago. Finally, she admits it at last. <laughs> well, have there been any miracles yet? No. All he does is clear rocks out of his yard and plant seeds. Rocks. And that's not going to bring you any grandchildren. Bessie, your son needs to get himself married. That would take a miracle for James to allow his daughter to speak to Thomas again. Matthew? Pastor Keating. Oh, yeah. Came to offer some help. I could use it. Thank you. There you are, boy. Look how many fish you caught. Well, that's enough to feed many. Well, thanks for taking Shadow on your adventure, boys. Hope there wasn't any trouble. No trouble at all. One for you. Well, thank you very much. And one for Shadow. Well, you better get home, Porter. Your dad was worried about you. He was worried about me? Yeah, he was by here a couple of times asking if I'd seen you. And mm, you sure was my pa. He's got a really big belly and a loud voice. I'm sure. Wait till he sees how many fish I caught. Is it candy time? Yes, it is. Elias, we can't afford to keep and doing this. It's only once a week. But it all adds up. But the children look forward to it so much. And so do you. And so do I. Good afternoon, children. Did you get all your work done? Yes! Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Papa, do you think Matthew is a real miracle maker? Let's wait and see about that, shall we? When did your mother take to her bed? Father didn't come home from the war. He broke her heart. It's been difficult for such a young boy. He's a preacher as well. I think she takes some comfort knowing that I followed in his footsteps. Did you follow the right footsteps? Have you asked? That was kind of you. What? That man. The shack. I rent many homes, Lily. Never without payment. Well, we shall see if I regret it. It was still kind. Now maybe people will realize you're not a tight-fisted miser after all. Let's hope not.
Here, place three seeds in each hole. Now, cover it with dirt. Do you see them anymore? But you know they're there because you put them there. In the spring, this place will be full of flowers. We may not be here to see them. They will bloom. Right now, all you see is dirt. But that little bit of work that you just did, it's gonna pay off later because you took the time to place them. Now, do you know why I separate those rocks into two piles? Because some are ordinary rocks, but some are special. And over the years, I've learned to know which ones are which. One day, Oliver, you will know the difference. Hey, I put mine on the branch first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. It's the best branch on the tree, and everybody knows that. Pastor Keating, Porter's telling a lie. No, I'm not. All right, all right. Now, what seems to be the problem? I put mine on the branch first, and she took it off. It's the only good branch. That's why I put it there first. Children, the miracle maker's watching. I'm sorry, Porter. You could share the branch. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. But we're not done hanging ornaments yet. I know, we'll come back later, come on. Won't stay on the tree, they'll just scatter in the wind. Like the children? You have the means to give the people of this town a beautiful tree. I did that, they just expect more. That's how people are. The more they get, the more they want. Not all people. I worked hard for what I got. Expect my tenants to do the same. Being blessed with good fortune comes with it an obligation to share what we have. Hey, Matthew! Obligation fulfilled. with your lovely presence. My tenants like you will be a very happy man. Is that all it would take? Booth came in earlier and bought them. Seems he likes what you're doing with this old shack and he wants you to do more. Oh, I'm speechless. Speechless. That is a miracle. Thank you. Elias? There's a chair out back. Well, Jenny threw that out. You want it? I could use it. Then it's yours.
Good, you came to pay the rent. No, sir, I don't have it, but I had to come to thank you. For what? Because of your kindness, I was able to buy food for my children. Tonight, they did not go hungry. It's just a coin. Children, this is the good man who's responsible for the food you ate tonight. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. It was nothing. It was everything. These are on the porch. Secret admirer? Maybe. What are you doing, Thomas? Did you give my letter to Lily? I always keep my word. I have to see her. Then ask her again. So she can refuse once more? You give up too easily. I didn't say that I was giving up. It sounded like it. And what do you know, Sarah? Huh? I mean, you've, you've never been in love. Well, if I did love somebody, like you say you love Lily, and if he loved me like I know Lily loves you, then I wouldn't let anybody or anything stand in the way of us being together. That is what I would do. Are you looking for Oliver? Yes, he's late again. I think he's with Shadow. Don't worry, they always come home when they're hungry. Well, he's gonna be a lot hungrier when he goes to bed without any supper. Come here, Oliver. A soft voice can often be easier to hear. Haven't I told you not to go out after dark? Supper will be ready in 10 minutes. And don't bring those rocks inside the house. Good night. Good night. And what shall I do with you? Thomas, are you out there? It's getting dark and I want to read my book. Lily? 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 Lily, I, I, I know you're up there, and I know you're listening. So hear this, Lily Booth. I, Thomas Keating, love you. I love you with all my heart and soul, and I will love you forever. Forever, Lily Booth, do you hear me? <laughs> forever. Well, if you must know, it took every fiber of my being to get out of this bed and move that lamp. What's wrong? Did Mr. Booth do something? No. Good. 
because if he did... The children decorated the old fir tree in the middle of the square. Oh, I wish I could see it. I could take you oh. tomorrow. Don't be silly. How would that look? My son carrying me down the street like an old bag of bones? Is that really what's most important, Mother? What people think? You're such a joy to me, Thomas. I'm sorry I've been such a curmudgeon. You probably wish I'd passed on, too. Oh, no. Then who would be here to teach me such patience? Lily. Could you come here, please? I needed some air. Did you see him tonight? Thomas loves me. Just like you loved Mother. No one could love you the way I loved your mother. You mean, no one could love me as I am now. Don't say that. Don't you ever say that? Then why won't you let me see him? Because he was careless. I asked him to look after you. I could have lost you, Lily. Answer my question. Did you see him tonight? I saw him. He did not see me.
I'll go get the bread. More rocks? All right, but be home before dark. Ask Matthew if you can take Shadow. I'll feel better knowing you're with him. Sarah, I'm off to Mapleton. Be back after dark. You let Lily know? Yes, sir. Day. Get up. What are you doing? Get up. Have you been crying? Thomas came to my window last night. And? I didn't speak to him. Why not? You know why not. Lily Booth. You are foolish, vain, and shallow. If you think that Thomas would stop loving you because of that little scar on your face. What about you and Gabriel? What are you talking about? I know that he leaves flowers for you on your doorstep every night and you just ignore him. Gabriel? Gabriel Hollis. Oliver gave this to me. Well? Make your own bed. Mrs. Grant, I'd like to purchase a gift. Did you get it? Did you order it? How could you afford it? On a pastor's wages. What chair? Uh, the one on your porch. I don't have a chair on my porch. Yes, you do. Where? Help me out of bed. I have no idea where this came from. Aren't you going to sit in it? It's a miracle. It's a chair. And yes, this is for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Why don't you come see? Oh, I like this one. Scrooge reminds me of Mr. Boo. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. What's your doll's name? Lucy. I used to mend broken dolls when I was younger. Would you like me to mend Lucy for you? No, thank you. It wouldn't take very long. I could have her fixed and ready for Christmas Eve. That's tomorrow. I know. I'll take good care of her. I'd better not. She missed me too much. Now, what is going on here? Your mom wants to fix my doll. She does? Are you going to let her? I'm not sure. Could I see? I would. Promise you'll take good care of her? Oh, cross my heart. Remember, tomorrow. Just came out for some fresh air. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Oh, nothing at all.
I'm glad I'm not that rug. You should be. Can we talk? Do you really think Thomas could love me as I am now? If you don't know the answer to that question, you don't deserve him. Something's not right. Shadow was with Oliver. Go get the buggy. Go! Water and, and a cloth. Hot water. Hot water and a cloth. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lord, please help me. Guide me and show me what to do. What's happening? It's a snake bite. Sarah's fetching the doctor. That boy can stay, but you need to get out of my house. James. Thomas saved all of her life. Stay out of this. To your room. No. I'm staying with Oliver. You're released from your position as pastor in this town, and you need to leave immediately. You can't do that. Out of my house! Sleep. What are you doing up? Where are we going? With our 
beautiful. Do, do you think they'll like it? Oh, of course they will. Oliver, I'm so sorry. All of those times I scolded you because of the rocks. I was angry at you for coming home late. Can you forgive me? Yes. We heard you were leaving. Now, now. No sad faces on Christmas Eve. About what happened. I don't want to hear about it. It wasn't Thomas's fault that Buggy did. It was mine. Thomas Keating! If you don't mind, I might actually get out and walk. I was rather hoping to make it back to town before dawn. <sighs> Thomas, you tease. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Why didn't you say something? I was afraid. Of me? here who's in charge I am and we want pastor Keating to stay yeah and we're not leaving your property until well you say yes but what if I call for the sheriff we don't have a sheriff let him stay please I'll think about it. Now you kids get out of here before I change my mind. I bet she missed me. Oh yes, she did. I know she missed me. She looks almost new. Thank you. We're still short. Well, count it again. I did. I counted it three times. Let me count. It's no use, sweetheart. We, we don't have enough to pay Mr. Booth. All we have are these darn rocks. Oh. Why? This has to be worth something. You look radiant. Agnes helped me. Well, don't just stand there. We have a party to go to. Thank me. I didn't do this. If 
not you. <clears throat> Welcome to uh, Woodhaven's first annual Christmas party. Is James so happy, willing to forgive and forget? Who's first? I am. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Do you mind playing for us? Christmas, mother. Merry Christmas. He's coming over. He's gonna ask me to take the screen desk. Me, me. It would be an honor if you ladies would dance with me. Keeping my eye on you. Expect nothing less. May I? You may. <laughs> Of course I did. Even with my... Lily Booth. <laughs> Lily Booth. Yes? Will you be my wife? Ha ha! My son is gonna be born tonight. <laughs> Christmas oh, Eve, boy. Oh, it's coming now. Now? Oh, no! I, oh, oh. Oh, it's going to be all right, dear. It's going to be all right. Is mom gonna be all right? Yes, Ray. That baby will come when he's ready. Maybe you should pray. That's a great idea. Merry Christmas, Elias. Merry Christmas. Is it a boy or a girl? You have a new baby sister. Let me see that baby. Mm. 
Presenting Eliza Grant Jr. Oh. Another beautiful baby girl. You can't go. You glad you found your voice, Oliver? Why do you have to go when you made so many miracles happen? Did I? I simply moved a few rocks and planted a few seeds. It was more than that. I need to plant elsewhere. Wife. Kiss her. <laughs> 